what's up guys uh video two for the day um all right so i decided to make this quick videos because i was looking at some setups of some of my guys here and um I, I have a lot of good setups for you so i'm gonna post it up right now watch the video see why i see them and hopefully you guys get some pips so i'm gonna go directly to it so you guys can see it so first trade we're looking at is au we're looking at au really really fast uh, uh, harold and job come Come over here so you guys can see it too. Sorry guys. I'm just very interactive. So you guys can see my explanation on why I'm entering trades and why I'm entering the trades. So first things first, when we look at AU, you can start from monthly, you can start from weekly, no matter what you really want to start from. Um, I'll do it from the monthly. So if we do it from the monthly, we see here that there's a nice zone at this point. So now, if you look at how this bullish candle opened up, or how this bullish candle is currently at, this, you have to understand, this wick means that price was up here at one point in time, meaning that right now it's rejecting. So that means that it broke through this high and right now it's on a rejection. That's what this means, the fact that it has a wick there. It broke through this high and now it's coming back down. And if we look at weekly, that's exactly what it's doing. So now since we're at this point in the market that we understand that, understand this candle right here. This is a massive bullish candle that it's in this place so it happened not this week not last week but three weeks ago look how this uh, bearish candle from last week didn't engulf the body since it didn't engulf the body or the wick and it created another higher low we can see that there's a trend line forming and it still has not enough bearish momentum to break it you know besides that even if we look at from trend lines so we have a breaker structure high was broken this high was broken and this high was broken came back up to low turned high came back down Bearish candle did not engulf previous bullish candle or previous bullish wick. Trend lines being respected. Sell zone, buy zone. Then if we go to daily, we see the trend lines actually forming. So now what we see here is higher lows being made. Even though higher lows are being made and lower lows are being made forming a symmetrical triangle, it's still bullish momentum. Understand, symmetrical triangles is just consolidation. That price does not have enough momentum to break above or below a zone just yet and when it comes to symmetrical triangles the pattern it follows structure and that's exactly what we're doing so we're following structure suit right now so based off daily we have higher lows higher lows based off h4 we can clearly see we have higher lows so this ends in about three hours this candle closes so if this candle closes above this high two options we have looking we have a retracement then followed by a bullish push or we're just going to have a bullish push towards the top side. But all in all, AU's buys, I already have buys called since down here. This is where I have buys called, stop loss above here, below here, take profit all the way towards the top side. So it's about a one to five risk to reward. Very, very easy trade. Simple trade, easy trade. It's a good trade to catch. AU buys for sure. AUs are buys. <laughs> So now we're going to look at GBB USD. That's next. So GBB USD, you guys could already see here. I already have buys on it too. Um, GBB USD is a lot very similar. It's on a structure point low. It's on a weekly low. Since it's on a weekly low, yeah, I could draw this zone all the way across, but I'm just looking at where the wicks are at, all this wick rejection, and then I see a massive double bottom. So here you have a double bottom. And then here you have a triple bottom. You also have, on H2, you also have higher lows being formed. You know, higher lows being formed, and if you kind of look at it like this, it's kind of like a descending triangle as well. Higher lows are being formed while a strong low of resistance is being maintained to push up towards the top side. You know? So then here again, on H4, ascending triangle formation forming. Higher low, higher low, higher low. On the daily time frame, you have a big double bottom here. You have a big double bottom there. And then on the weekly time frame, you also have a double bottom here. That needs to form. You understand? And then if we go to H4, even within here, we have a double bottom. So you have double bottoms within double bottoms, like within double bottoms, within double bottoms, you know? 
to form this bullish trend. And then here we had a strong level of support as well. Strong level of support in the market as well. Followed by a Morningstar Doji to push up. If this closes above, which I think it will, because even on M30, look at how it closed. It already closed bullish. So it might come back down a little bit and then push towards the top side. So this is a long-term buy too as well. It's just simple buys. Like These are simple moves that shouldn't be too hard to capitalize off of, but I just want you guys to see what I'm seeing. Long-term buys to push up towards the top side too. Next trade. Currently in five trades right now. No, currently in four trades. Four trades. Currently in four trades, I have one sell limit, buy limit. So now next trade, GBBCHF. So GBBCHF, GBBCHF is a little bit weird. Not not weird, but I do see a few things happening for GBBCHF. So here we have this rejection. It's on a strong level of support off the weekly as well. Wick, 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 massive rejection. So now this is the lowest point that it will go. So the most that this will go is retrace a little bit to then push back up based off the weekly time frame. You know, I doubt that it will do that, but that's the most that it would do. Right now what I see this doing, I just see this either doing one or two things. Coming back down to this high turn low area and then making its rounds up or ignoring it at all, respecting this low area that it seems to have a lot of trouble breaking and then just completing the push towards the top side, completing the higher low, completing the double bottom. First TP, second TP, and then third TP. You know? So those are the three different options that you could be looking at for this trade. And it's just higher lows are being made too. You know, then if you wanted to call it, it depends on how you look at it, but you can call it a vertical head and shoulder too. Whatever you really want to look at it. But that's those are the two options. For sure, those are the two options. So a stop loss for this trade, I have it below here. That's what I'm looking at. I don't think it'll break it, but that's my stop loss below there. It just has too much bullish rejection. Yeah, a lot of people are going to say that it broke through this zone. It did not break through that zone. Because if you do supply and demand zones properly, your zone is from wick to here. That's your zone. And this is just an overlap. It did not break this zone. So it's just going to push up towards the top side. That's all it wants to do. It wants to push up towards the top side to continue its bullish rounds. Okay? That's what it's going to do. Push towards the top side. So now, what we may see on a higher time frame, a push up, form a doji, then up, 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 and then sell, 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 sell. You know? Just price action. But as of now, we're looking for buys on this trade. The third trade, so we did AU, we did GBVUSD, GBVCHF, now we're going to look at GJ. So GJ, I already had a buy on GJ from 14414. Add a buy on GJ since down here, look at it. Well, it already hit it last week, but now it's going to hit it. So it hit it last week. This is an intraday trade. It hit it last week. Now it's going to hit it again. So now it's now it's even a lot, a lot cleaner. Now this is so much cleaner. So this was my swing trade setup. 14414, TP 145, 145500, and 146. So even back then I could see it. But now it's even cleaner because now we have... What about just reset everything? We have a symmetrical triangle being formed off the weekly. Besides that, we have higher lows being maintained. So if you're going to draw this properly, we know to buy here and we exit right up here. It's still about 200 pips, even if you were to do that simple. You understand? It's on a low right now. Buy low, sell high. Stop loss, where would stop loss be? Below here. You understand? You're risking maybe 100 pips to make about 200 or 300 pips. Still 1 to 2, 1 to 3 ratio is perfectly fine. If you don't like that, then you just do a stop. No, this is fine. This is a good stop loss. You can either do a stop loss below here, or you can do a stop loss below here. Right now, we're already up about 30 pips. From our entry, from where we originally entered, we're up about 30 pips right now. Double bottom formation being formed. You know, 1, 2 to push towards the top side. Higher low still being maintained as well to push towards the top side. To push up. That's what we're looking for. And that's just it. We might see some sort of rejection towards the downside, but understand now you have a new trend line being formed. 
And then if you want to use fibs, you can pull out the fibs. If it closes here, this is the lowest point it will go. It's a structure point low as well. And then if we just look to the left, it would be left head, right shoulder if it does come here. So if it comes back to this point tonight, or even wicks this area, it would be left head, right shoulder. Then you would have another double bottom within it. And then you have a double bottom within here. It's just too much. There's just too much confirmation to pull up. And we're on a week and we're on a daily and weekly low. There's no reason not to enter the trade. That's just pretty much it. We're on a daily and weekly low. There's no reason not to enter the trade. Um, those are the four setups I'm looking at. The one setup that I'm still waiting on is USD JPY. It's so close to my entry, guys. It's right there. 3-5. So close to the entry is at 3.5 right now. Waiting for this to come up a little bit more. Enter for the trade. It's about 10 pips away. So if this enters the trade the way that I think it will, then we're looking for a nice fall to the downside. Left, head, right shoulder, verta head and shoulder, neckline, TP1, TP2, TP3. Lower high is being formed. Higher high, lower high, lower high. Trend line being formed too. If you were to draw a trend line, you can clearly see the trend line. <laughs> you know, this is just very simple setups, like nothing too crazy. Yeah, very simple setups, nothing too crazy. Very, very simple. So that's what we're looking at, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, share it, tell your friends. And I wanted to send you this video because I saw them. I had to get into it. All right, guys.